peace peace family so i'm back with another one today what i wanted to do is i wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how they will say you blame everyone for what's happening in your life and i, I received some statements and, and a few comments about this quote along myself and i had to do some deep diving and processing right because i've experienced a lot in life and i understand that we are accountable for our own actions and a lot of us wouldn't have got to the spaces vibrations or frequencies that we are at right now if we didn't take accountability for our actions you know but there's a big difference in between taking accountability and then just kind of trying to put a blanket over someone else's actions or what they're doing around you and the kind of place and space that we're in right now is we've been holding ourselves so accountable that we don't have any choice but to kind of shine some light on the being's actions around us. And a lot of them, we already understand, are using that demonic witchy playbook. So we already know everything that entails and that comes with using that playbook. So it's, it's a form of projection when they say these things. And we shouldn't be too offended or take offense to it because we know the life that we walk. So when you understand that a lot of people out here don't want you to look at the actions and the things that they're doing, they want you to just kind of believe in what they're saying. It's like one of those magical spells being worked to kind of get you to overlook certain things. But you would never be able to get to the root or the cause or the actual starting point if you don't take into account everything that's transpiring in your environment and they have a lot of gurus and I see a lot of other content talking about you know stop blaming the world outside of you and all these other things like that like it's not really about blaming the world it's just about being aware of the environment and the actions that's going on around you because everything in our environment affects our vibration so when i'm if i'm hanging out with my buddies or something and we just kind of parlay and kicking it and i address a certain situation and just kind of explaining something to them they're like man well you always you you know you always blaming him over there are you always blaming her over there it's like i'm not blaming them I'm just calling out their actions because usually with us when we process things and we kind of venting you know a vent works two ways so if you ever just send in one vibration out and you're not circulating it it's not a vent you're literally just dumping compost onto somebody and we all understand that because that's what we deal with a lot out here people who just call you up or pull up on you and they just dump all their waste on you but it's no circulation to it. You know, you're supposed to let air out and then you let air in. But we wouldn't be able to get to where we're trying to go if we didn't acknowledge the things that was happening around us or being done to us, you know? How do you make adjustments? How do you make the changes that you need to make in order to do something different? And it had me thinking about my witchy BM that I signed up for and it was just like, I didn't really start looking before I pointed the finger outwardly, I had to do some researching more into myself and asking questions and doing different things to make sure that I'm not the issue at hand. Not saying that I don't play a percentage of it, but if a fight starts, I'm in the fight. But that doesn't mean that I started the fight. You know, I just have to finish and do my part. So I'm not going to be like, no, I wasn't in that fight. Yeah, I was in that fight, but I didn't throw the first blow, you know. And if I was the one to slap somebody first, knock their food over first, you know, I stand on it. I done done that plenty of times before, and I explain why. Oh, they looked at me where, or they said something different. You know what I mean? Completely different situation. But I realized, like, I wouldn't have been able to grow or prosper the way I did if I didn't look at myself. What happens is, for us over here on this side, when we see ourselves or we tend to point the finger too much outwardly it forces us to look inside at ourselves that's mandatory but a lot of other people and beings out here that use the other playbook don't process the same way so they don't have the same internal conversation that puts the finger back on them 
that's one thing that we've always done. We wouldn't be where we are today if we didn't know how to look at ourselves, reflect, point the fingers at ourselves. So it's a lot of word spells being worked out here. So you got to be mindful that a lot of things that's happening is a lot of demons and witches up front right now. That's why you don't really have to have any real principles, morals, and values to have a lot of money, have a lot of followers, to have people looking at you, to have people doing, you know, just different things out here because we all should understand that the sheep are only harmful depending on who they're being led by. The sheep are only harmful depending on who they're being led by, you know? When it wasn't as demonic and witchy, all the sheep was following the creator flow, you know? God, Allah, wherever you stand in that realm, you know? But that's not the space we're in anymore right now. So since we're at war, you have to be aware of the tactics that the enemy is using. So it's a difference between pointing a finger at somebody behind the scenes and just constantly blaming them for everything. And it's a difference between communicating with people and teaching outwardly the enemy tactics that they use to kind of manipulate you mentally and spiritually, you know? And I wouldn't have been able to get to where I was at today if I didn't self-reflect, if I didn't have those internal battles with myself, you know, if I didn't have the finger pointed out so much that it you turned back at me. I would I would still be in a disgusting space aligned with somebody else's energy to dictate my flow, you know, because it don't control me, but it does to a certain degree because if I'm in a peaceful state and they just walk past me and it kind of just frustrates me or annoys me, then, you know, I don't have to say anything, but on the inside, it's moving my energy a little bit, you know? So I, I just try not to take too much of it on when they are looking at things in that light as far as like, oh, you just seem like you just always blame all the demons and all the witches for everything no actually we in a space to where we're learning and sharing information and a lot of people ain't out here being solid or honest with the information that they sharing you know and anybody tapped in over here it's plenty i done dropped so much stuff that points the finger back at i back at myself you know how we point the finger back at ourselves Pointing that finger back at ourself is putting us in a responsible state and an accountable state. And we already understand that when they self-reflect on the other team, because they tend, I, I hate saying that they don't do these things, they do it. They just have methods as far as how they escape it and don't have to process it and they run, duck, and hide from it. But when we do it and we stand in solidarity while we're in that, that space, it's putting us in more alignment with the source. You know, you are being responsible for your actions, you know, how the, the vibration you put out, the words you choose to communicate outwardly. And a lot of people ain't going to like that because they feel like you telling on them, you giving their secrets away. You know, they used to being able to use the same tactics to manipulate people in their space and places and environments and stuff like that. So if any of us is out here giving out insight and just trying to help, you know, in a real formula... It's going to be a lot of, oh, it just sounds like you're just pointing the finger. You're just pointing the finger. You're not taking accountability. It sounds like everything that you're going through, you just blame it on. Oh, the system did this, or your parents did this, or your friends did that, or, or the person did this and did that. It's like, I could, and most of us could run a whole list of all the things we were accountable for. It's just we at a day and age right now where we are all trying to, like, brighten and lighten this whole realm up way more than what it is. And for us to get to that space, then we got to understand that we're in a battlefield right now. So if anybody got issues with it, you know, you just got to see me. That's just how I am. You got to see me in real lifetime. Like, I'm always going to stand on my words and I'm always going. If I know that the people I care about is about to walk in to some kind of bad situation, I'm going to let them know. I'm not going to just let them walk in there and then afterwards, you know, somebody that got hit upside the head, somebody got shot, somebody that fell off a cliff, you know, somebody that burnt themselves on the stove. These are things that I was aware of that I could have informed them of, you know, and I would do these things. And I know most of us would handle the situation the same way. But you will have people trying to belittle you and your statements as far as just trying to help out in this space because we all taking a different approaches and angles you know 
everybody isn't always in front of this camera. It's a lot of people that's working behind the scenes as well, too, you know? That vibration is still felt. Just because you ain't out here in the forefront don't mean that vibration ain't felt and it's not needed. It is felt and it is needed, you know what I mean? So just be mindful of these things. A lot of things that they saying and doing is because they don't want you putting their secrets out, you know? That means they got to figure out a new way to make a new mask. They got to figure out another way to jig and finesse, you know. They got to figure out a whole new GPS route. You know, they was trying to go straight, but then it was toes a few miles away. They like, all right, well, let me go to Waze app and then put block toes, you know, or skip toes. So now they taking a whole nother route that doesn't take them straight down the interstate through the toes. They veered off on the next exit and they spun all the way around the long way just so they could duck a toe. The toe is the accountability and responsibility, you know? So I'm just always mindful of these things and trying to be aware and not take, try not to take it too hard on the inside when people say stuff like that. Cause I had a few of them come across recently that was throwing that vibration out there. And I'm like, damn, you could at least tap in with a lot more to see what's really going on with the vibes, you know what I mean? So, it, there is no hiding and running and scurrying away when you're over here vibing with the creator. So that's why it ain't, like shame is part of the game. If you're afraid of shame, then I don't know how you're going to make it out here or level up or access different frequencies and information. You have to. That's part of reflecting. When you shame yourself or someone shames you and you start to feel bad, it makes you want to do something different. It makes you not want to do it again. It makes you want to just adjust accordingly, you know? But I ain't want to run it up too long, you know what I mean? It's going to be a lot of finger pointing, but really it's just us describing the enemy tactics and what they're using, how they're using the spiritual realm, the great areas in the spiritual realm to manipulate your inner space and the vibrations and frequencies around you, you know? And they're going to use a lot of word spells. It's going to be a lot of word spells. That's why they're saying blaming and pointing the finger instead of saying, you could change the word blaming and just put it as, okay, I'm just acknowledging the actions that was taken. That's being more accountable with your statement and with your wordplay that you choose to use. Instead of saying blaming and pointing the finger, just say, no, nah, I'm just acknowledging the actions. That's not blaming. That's something that took place in the spiritual, physical realm, and I see it happening. Now I'm just acknowledging it. We already know what time it is. You know what I mean? I ain't want to run up too long. Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.